Welcome back. Uh, Jamie has a new helper in the kitchen there. Sheridan Smith is helping out. Jamie, what are you going to rustle up for us in this okay, part of the show? Me and Sheridan, we're, we're like basically up in the game now, guys. We've taken all the complicated stuff. Now we're going to go for a toasty. <laughs> I think I'm Gordon Bloody Ramsay. Um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're going to do barbecue, pulled barbecue pork. In a, to in in a, a like toaster. A toaster. It's going to be, you're going to love it. Okay, uh, so we'll go back to them after. We'll see how it's going <laughs> on. But first of all, let's get my next guest out. As if Sheridan was enough, we've got even more glamour now to brighten up our Christmas it is. The beautiful and talented Sienna Miller. <laughs> Miller's here. Sienna, how lovely to see you. Thank you very much. Lovely to see you too. And congratulations. I read it in the paper. I haven't seen you since last time you did a guest appearance on one of my shows, but uh, you have had a baby. You had a baby six months ago? Five months ago. You've had a lovely little girl. <laughs> Marlo, yeah. Wow, that's such lovely yeah. news, isn't it? Thank you. Uh, and this is her first Christmas, of course. This is her first Christmas, so this yes. This is going to be your first Christmas as a mum. Exactly. Uh, is that, I mean, is it nerve-wracking or is it just, I suppose, at that well, age? She's not... still a little, yeah, she's still a little young. But it definitely makes it more exciting. I mean, she's very into the lights and a bit of wrapping paper is kind of just heaven for her. That's so all you need. That's well, all I need. I just gave a load Michael, of uh, Michael uh, McIntyre present and it was just an empty box, which for a child is an ideal <laughs> gift. <laughs> This time of year. Uh, so that's really exciting. Yeah. And you'll be going where? Will you be going home to your parents or you'll be going somewhere I've else? I've got a cottage outside of London, so nice. we're going to be there. It's yeah. sort of a thatched, it's the perfect chocolate box Christmas. Wow. House. Yeah. The last thing I saw you were filming, I know that we have the new thing coming out now, which is called The Girl, of course. Yeah. Were you filming that? Were you pregnant when you were filming that or was that before? I was. The it was at the beginning. I was in my first trimester. Because there's no way you would you would know. So presumably there were it didn't show too much earlier. You can early kind on. of see as it went on, there are there are a couple of moments when I can see, but I think unless you're looking, you can't. Tell us about the girl because it's a it's a true story or is it entirely true? Is it all justified what's no, said in it? No, it's true. I mean, it's true. It's Tibby Hedren's account of working with Alfred Hitchcock. She was the star of The Birds and Marnie, which were two of these amazing films that he made. And, um, and she had a very tempestuous relationship with him. He kind of plucked her from obscurity and cast her and kind of created her as this blonde icon and then gradually became more and more obsessed with her. So it's her, her kind of account of working with him. I mean, he was known anyway for having like, a weird relationship with these leading ladies. Yeah, with I mean, the films, if you watch the films, there's, a kind of, there's definitely a tone of misogyny, I think, to all of them. But he seemed particularly weird towards Tippi Hedren, yeah. who you play, of course. Yeah, he was obsessed with her and he... All sorts of things. I mean, it started off, they were great friends and, and he was very amusing and, you know, obviously a huge character, an incredible filmmaker, but gradually became more and more obsessed and she wouldn't capitulate to his demands and it kind of got more and more polluted as it went on and then gradually they stopped working together after money and he kept her under contract for seven years but didn't let her work with anyone else. Wow. So he kind of killed her career then, really? Yeah. Because yeah. I thought she was great in The Birds. I mean, Marnie's she a peculiar is. film anyway, but she's yeah. great in The Birds. And shooting, I didn't realise that, uh, I, I know the scene is famous, that he would sometimes put his actresses through kind of difficult situations. And they <laughs> were live birds. And you said you were, you were and yes. you redid that scene with the live birds. I was birds bombarded being... with live, yeah, pigeons, seagulls, the wow. works. And that can't be fun. No. Beaks and claws and no. So and pregnancy you... and morning sickness. But it's a great film and it, it's on, let's it's on Boxing Day on BBC Two. Yes. I really recommend it. It's a great story and it's a peculiar moment in cinema history but if you like Hitchcock, you like the birds and you'd want to see it, it's, it's fascinating. Here's a clip from The Girl. My most ambitious movie ever and we want you to star in it. What? Every actress on the planet wants to play Melanie Daniels. Ah, well. We don't want them. We want you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Girl. 
<laughs> and you met Chippy Hedden, didn't you? I did. It? She's incredible. She's 83 and so wow. glamorous and extraordinary and poised and very much of that era. She's got that complete kind of old Hollywood glamour and she's she was very supportive and it was obviously terrifying playing somebody that was not only alive but was still alive to critique your performance so it was really nerve-wracking but she's she's happy by and so she said she liked she was happy with what yeah. you did yeah. uh so christmas you're going to have uh just you and the man in your life and yeah. marlo uh, yeah. out in the countryside yeah. uh, have you done all your christmas shopping you no know what no i'm that person on christmas eve that is running around sweating and sobbing in selfridges and what about you do you like to receive gifts are you yes. someone happy <laughs> okay so what, what's the best present you've had that you can remember what's the worst present you've had i've got some great presents worst present oh actually awful my poor godmother was trying to be current and went to Agent Provocateur and bought me some <laughs> some really nice lace underwear that looked kind of relatively prim and I was very thrilled to open up this gorgeous underwear because girls love getting nice underwear and then I held the knickers up <laughs> and I realized that they were crotchless oh <laughs> and she didn't realize and she was horrified and there was this moment of kind of Thank you so much, you know, a pair of crotch and then I got pregnant, so there we go. Can I just say that the, uh, that's a gift that keeps giving because uh, I think Jamie enjoyed that as much as anyone did yeah. over there. Jamie's mixing up the pulled pork over yeah. there. Uh, so what's next for you? What are you doing next? What's the... <laughs> Please cut that. Saying, I didn't mean to say that. Well, you just out. said Jamie is pulling his pork over there. Is that what you just said, Miller? You <laughs> filthy girl. I said mixing up the pulled pork, okay. not pulling his pork. Okay. <laughs> you all right, Jamie? I'm all right, mate. Just pulling my pork yeah. over here. Yeah. <laughs> you you obviously have your eye on Jamie's pork, so why don't thank we go you. over there? And do the first of all, you join me in saying thank you to the lovely Sienna Miller, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, as I said, the girl is on Boxing Day, BBC Two, 9 p.m. And it's a great performance by you. I don't know if you said that. Oh, this smells good. You smell good over here, Jamie. Yeah, this is my new cologne. This is called a leftover turkey or ham uh, or pork, of and course. And Sienna, do you depending. cook? I do. I once guessed what was in Jamie's salad dressing. Did do you? you remember that? Don't start again. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's not a you. <laughs> <laughs> this does smell great, doesn't it? Smell great. Turkey. Can you smell it over there? You just toss it up. You wow. put it in. I think. I think the breville is really underrated. You know, a little bit of retro 80s. So, love. The, so that's pork. Yeah. And then you've got <laughs> what's the sauce? sauce? A barbecue sauce in there. Yeah. You put some cheddar in there. And then over here, this fine piece of equipment's been pulled out the depths oh, man, that looks good. of my cupboard. <laughs> and we're going to put it in there. And that, it's a really oh, hard man, bit now. Good. Really hard bit. Oh, it really is hard. Okay. This is okay. It's a bit weird. So we're going to have some uh, apple matchsticks, OK? A little bit of watercress, <laughs> chilli apple watercress, lemon juice. <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Pass me that olive oil, Tiger. Drops yes. a kernel. Oh, I like you calling me Tiger. Yeah, oh. here we go. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of olive oil. Sheridan olive oil back again, bless. Get those brevels for me, Sienna. Brevels? Yep, yeah, lovely. It's a toasty. Well, the, the cooked ones. OK, toasty, yes. Can I eat one? Well, you can rip them in half if you want, or I can cut them for you, girls. Oh, yeah, but, oh. them. There you go, darling. Thank you. There's off for you. Oh, I noticed you served mine like you don't even look at me. <laughs> You know, you're turning around and me, the blondes are getting a lot of attention over there. That's delicious. Here we go. Bit of pulled pork, mm. bit of cheddar. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm that's really, good. I, I mean, you get a bit, get a bit of apple and chilli. Oh, my God. Can you put a bit of apple what and chilli? What do you chili? do with the apple and chilli? Can I feed you? Yes. Is that okay? okay? What the? What are you up to? <laughs> now, if you put that in your... Can I? Yeah. <laughs> Jamie. Yeah, go on. It's right, we're all married. Uh, sort of. <laughs> uh, you're not married. Well, let me give you a bit more chilli, then. <laughs> If I'm the brunt of a bad joke, Jamie! No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god, I'm breastfeeding. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm thirsty. <laughs> so, um, so this, that chilli, that can't tell you. And then, sorry. That's all right. I don't this, know is, this is the least OK Christmas what show we've ever done. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Um, That's on fire. That was lovely, wasn't it, Jonathan? It's getting better by the minute. Oh my um, god. We'll be I'm back. On fire. Oh my god. <laughs> We're going to take a few moments, let the girls cool off a bit. We'll be back in a few minutes with Ellie Simmons, so don't go away. Oh, <laughs>